I just finished doing my shared preferences tutorial with the login screen and I thought since I have everything open I'm going to show you how to pass data between activities using shared preferences. Just to kind of give you a disclaimer this isn't necessarily best practice. Best practice would probably be to save uh, the data and pass it using an intent but I'm going to go over that in later tutorials. In this one I'm just going to show you how to access shared preferences data from another activity. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a second layout and a second activity. So we'll create our second layout by going to uh, layout, new layout resource file, and we'll just call it second layout. And in our second layout, all I'm going to have is, I don't know, I'll just display the name, the name that you log in with, just to show you a simple way to pass data. So I'll just grab a plain text field and go over to the text tab, change to a relative layout because linear layouts suck. And I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to delete the text from it and I'm just going to give it a name, um, edit text name and I'm going to give it a tag underscore SL for second layout just so we know that it's for the second layout. And we're done in here. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't the ID did I enter on there? That's weird. There we go. Okay. Now the ID is set and we'll close the second layout and we're gonna go and create our second Java class. So go right click up here, go to new Java class, and we'll just call it second screen. I'll call it second activity. And we'll create our tag, and we'll declare our edit text field, or sorry. I just realized that I made an edit text field, but I wanted to make a text view. So let's just make that a text view, and wrap content, wrap content, that should be all fine. Don't need anything special. So now we'll declare our text view up top. Uh, better make it private. And then we need to insert our onCreate method. Actually, you know what? Let's just copy it from main activity. So we'll just go over here, grab the onCreate method, paste it in, make sure you close it off, and we can get rid of all that stuff. And we need to change this ID to reference our second layout and change this to a text view. And this is gonna be second layout, there we go. Okay, so now to get the data that was saved in shared preferences, we just need to create our shared preferences object and then get the string. So I'm not going to create it as a global variable, I'm just going to create it down here in onCreate. So I can go uh, shared preferences, I'm going to call it uh, preferences. We go preference manager, get default shared preferences, and then we just pass the context. And then we need to declare our editor. So editor, let's call it editor equals preferences dot edit. And that should be good. Now we're going to get the information stored in shared preferences. So to do that, we just go preferences, get string, and here we reference our key. So r.id, no, r.string. Oops, this is lowercase. So there we have our string name. And then our default value will just be blank. And then we need to create the string, call it name, and that will get our name. And then I'm just going to set the text field to the name, just like that. So that's going to be just kind of a quick and easy way to pass data from one activity to another using shared preferences. And uh, we need to declare a second activity in the manifest file. So just do second activity there. That's good. We can close the manifest. And oh, we're going to actually need a way to navigate to the second activity because we never did that yet. So I'll just create a new button. Or you know what, you know what I could do is just do it when we log in instead of create a new button. Yeah, I'll just do when the login button is clicked and the preferences are wanting to be saved, we can just create an intent. And if you don't know how to navigate to other activities using a button click, I made a tutorial on that. It's in the, it's in the beginner playlist, so check that out. But basically we're just gonna create an intent and we're gonna navigate from main activity and we're gonna go to second activity. Then we just start the activity and it will navigate us to second activity. So let's start it and see if we get any errors. All right, so since I've run this app before, it's already saving my previous uh, shared preferences that I, was, that I saved in the previous tutorial. So the difference now is when I click this login button, it's gonna take us to a new screen which is gonna display my name. So let's click login. And we can see, there we go, it takes us to the second screen and there's my name up there. So it's pulling the data from the shared preferences and then setting the text field to that piece of data. Hopefully that was helpful. I just wanted to make kind of a short tutorial since I had everything open about passing data using shared preferences. But once again, I don't believe this is best practice. You should probably be using 
an intent to pass data th uh, between activities or using a database. But I just thought I'd let you know how to do it. There's no harm in doing it. It's your app. You can do what you want. If you found this video helpful, leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when I post new tutorials. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.